Добре ден, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am head of Azerbaijan Future Studies Society and it's a great pleasure and honor to be here to participate in such uh, important event and to have a chance to visit your country. It's my first uh, visit of Slovenia, Ljubljana. Fortunately, I have a bit uh, possibility to go around to meet your uh, wonderful people. Uh, I heard a lot, but my uh, impressions overheld me, my expectations. Uh, really, really, I have a chance to feel your uh, people uh, and uh, they're just amazing you know they are very friendly uh, most of them know about my country that surprised me a lot of course uh, because of Eurovision contents which we hosted in May but anyway you know I travel a lot it is the first time when mostly everybody know Baku Azerbaijan it's really really pleasant to be here and thank you uh, I would like to say that uh, the sub uh, name of our uh, uh, panel is Connection Europe through Foresight. And I would say that our participation uh, here is a real example of this connection. Because uh, thanks to Foresight, we met with uh, Dr. Blash. And uh, it's not far that like this May, uh, we went in Brussels. And uh, because of this meeting, the idea to participate in Ljubljana Forum came here. And so we are here, and plus we able and uh, it's very also pleasant for us that uh, forum invited our deputy mayor of Baku so you will uh, also uh, hear her presentation later so connecting Europe and Azerbaijan through foresight uh, as a head of Azerbaijan Future Studies Society, uh, a non-profit research center, I'd like uh, to give you a brief information about uh, our activity and especially on cooperation with European structures. We established our society in 2006 and became the first research center of such kind in Azerbaijan with the aim of the studying the current trends and predicting the future ones. The same year, we signed a memorandum of understanding with the Millennium Project about opening uh, its Azerbaijani node. As Azerbaijan Future Studies Society started to play a valuable role as a think tank and a network builder uh, between Azerbaijan and international research institutions on local and even regional levels. <sighs> We are uh, frequently arranged and participate in various European Commission seminars, international projects, both cultural and future research focused. Being a part of Millennium Project team, I participated, as I mentioned, uh, this May at the European Foresight College Brussels meeting in May uh, 2012, which gave me another opportunity to exchange experience between European and different international organizations involved in foresight to design possible future cooperation. Here, like some examples of our cooperation with European structures. This is in Brussels, uh, last one. It's uh, another one. Several years ago, we participated with uh, Dr. Glenn. Here also, a seminar of equal opportunity and gender equality. It's our uh, NGO was had been invited. And uh, I think that it's quite symbolic, like uh, Dr. Miron already mentioned, uh, that we are here today because uh, you know that uh, Azerbaijan uh, is on the crossroads of Europe and Asia, and uh, we are now in cooperation, Azerbaijan cooperation with many countries uh, worldwide. Uh, with European Union and other international organizations closely participated in the restoration of historical Silk Road, in the preparation to and realization of Trasico program. I hope, I'm sure that uh, all of you know very well about this uh, Trasico program. And uh, this program has strategic importance and provides great opportunities for consolidation and expansion of economic relation between Azerbaijan and Europe. And the aim, uh, main aims 
are uh, development of economic relations, trade and transport communication in Europe, the Black Sea region and the Caucasus and the Caspian Sea region in Central Asia, the development of telecommunication services, tourism and well-being of the population. And the ultimate beneficiary of the overall Trasica program are the consumer who will profit from improved transport and trade relations in the region with the European Union. Uh, yes, this is about Trasica. Yes, one of the uh, major, uh, let's say, uh, project which we, we, we do a lot of projects uh, uh, in Azerbaijan, but today I would like just briefly stop on several of them, and one of them is uh, uh, promoting and supporting uh, a State of Future Index of Azerbaijan. State of Future Index of Azerbaijan, it's a uh, first uh, such kind of uh, computing of uh, uh, assessment of the 10 years outlook uh, of Azerbaijan future based on 20 years of historical data and forecast of 20 variables and 24 potential developments that could have a significant impact on the future of Azerbaijan. Why I uh, bring it as, as this example? Because uh, in the computing of uh, uh, index, uh, state of future index of Azerbaijan participated alongside with uh, local experts, a lot of experts from abroad. And it was uh, running by the, our uh, directors of Millennium Projects and more than uh, 100 experts uh, uh, participated in computing this uh, uh, index. And uh, the same year, uh, I would like to say that this was in two languages, Azeri and English. And we have a chance to present uh, the book of Azerbaijan State of Future Index to the President of Republic of Azerbaijan during the Bakutel international exhibition. You can see here Dr. Glenn, and we present it to our president, uh, Mr. Ilham Aliyev. Then was the presentation of this book at the Center of Strategic Studies under the president the same year. Uh, another project, uh, I think it's very interesting and somehow pioneer project. Uh, several years ago, already this year will be fourth year, we uh, promote and support educational opportunities uh, for Azerbaijani students. Uh, and we call it uh, First Azerbaijani Foresight Online University Course on Future Studies and Future Research Methodology at our State Economic University. Uh, this course exists uh, on two semesters. Each year, a group of special uh, chosen students, English-speaking students, uh, they've been teach uh, by, uh, taught by uh, head of uh, Millennium Project and uh, the other uh, scholars who invited by them by the means of this program. I, I think you know this is analog of Skype, UVU program. I, I would like to stress that it's not distant learning. It is real in real time only online course each Friday, uh, three hours. It's had been teaching for our students uh, future research methodology, um, methodology of future studies, and etc. And I'd like to mention that uh, it's the first uh, such project in entire SIC countries. Uh, a unique feature, actually, of the project is that it's implemented in the online uh, video conference uh, format. So this is like it's happened. Also, we organized a lot of uh, workshops and seminars, different three years uh, on concepts, methods of future research, on in governments, with an uh, invitation of uh, a lot of foreign experts to Azerbaijan. Well, this is like an example of security foresight workshop. You know that for us, security it's very important, as we're a country who is uh, in the situation of war with our neighbor country, Armenia. That's why such kind kind of, you know, uh, workshops are also very important for Azerbaijan. Also, we participated uh, in uh, annual uh, Millennium Project uh, committee meetings and as well as and World Future Society meetings. And uh, it also gives us opportunity, uh, for example, uh, this year in Toronto, uh, we participate in uh, workshops, as you see here. Uh, one of them uh, was specially dedicated uh, to fundraising. 
One of the weak point of developing foresight studies is a difficulty with fundraising and constant experience exchange in this field uh, would be very, very useful and uh, building cooperation about international organization engaged in foresight activities and programs are should continue to be one of the priorities of European Union. And uh, we, we really uh, had a good time to exchange our experience in Toronto. At the end, briefly, uh, I would like, uh, because of uh, uh, topic, main topic of our forum is energy efficiency, uh, just give a quick uh, overview to uh, situation in Azerbaijan. As uh, you know, Azerbaijan has a great potential to raise effectiveness of using the country energy resources by involving the renewable energy sources. In 2009, uh, Azerbaijan established the state agency on alternative and renewable energy energy sources and windy days in Napsharon Peninsula and Caspian Sea Coast annual uh, 250. Uh, wind, uh, wind power resources in Azerbaijan annual 800. Uh, you can see here the examples of uh, wind uh, uh, energy resources. Also, we're a shiny uh, country and we have to uh, use our potential to raise effectiveness of using energy of sunshine. Uh, you see here that uh, hours during the day, as this is example of solar energy resources. This is, uh, we, we have uh, several main uh, rivers. It's also example of small hydro plants potential. And at the end, uh, I would like to stop of uh, European Union projects in Azerbaijan, uh, bound with this. It's uh, European Union uh, uh, founded uh, Innogate project supporting the development of energy efficiency and re renewable energy. Uh, um, EBRD, you know, European Bank of Reconstruction and Development also. Renewable Energy Initiative uh, have more than 20 projects on uh, renewable energy. And uh, other, you see that like uh, KFW and uh, Norwegian government support uh, a lot of projects in Azerbaijan. <laughs> Here are also some examples of our energy strategy. And uh, the last key message is that the increasing of efficiency of cooperation between the national research institution and centers and future-oriented international ones, ensuring con uh, continuous financing of future researches, developing on uh, and filed educational programs focused on future research, and developing of intergovernmental programs for energy efficiency on the regional level. Thank you very much.